Watch out for that hole. And she's okay. Hello, welcome. I'm going to attempt to walk Bo through the house here and I'll give you all the, the tour in dirt. So, I'm standing on our front patio right here. This will all be a concrete slab. And this will be the front door as we walk into what we've jokingly been calling the Great Hall. Not that great, not really a hall. But this is the uh, living room, dining room area. Down on this end, walking through. Oh gosh, he is pulling. Our kitchen is over here in this corner. I'm currently standing in the kitchen. Right here will be our laundry room, utility closet, guest bathroom next to that. As we would go out into the hall and come back around, this is guest bedroom, called guest bedroom number one, the smaller of the two guest bedrooms. That'll be my office. As we walk back across over this way, it's guest bedroom number two. This will be Mary's office. No, we're not going to go talk to the puppy. Come over here. I'm basically in the walk-in closet, which exits right into the, the ensuite bath, which then also, of course, exits into the master suite here on this corner. So it gives us a nice view out of the woods and on the back patio here as well. We're going to have two French doors approximately here exiting onto our back patio. So it will really feel big and open. We wanted one of those fancy accordion sliding thingamajobs. They were prohibitively expensive. So we went with basic French doors next to each other. Come here, Bo. Come in this direction. It'll actually be a hall, because of course this was kitchen. It'll be a hall coming this way. This is the garage, the attached garage. This will also be a full slab. And eventually, I'll have an apron out front. That's probably not going to happen until um, well, ne next spring at the earliest, most likely next summer. This is kind of the, the where the funnel really begins. Concrete block is supposed to be delivered either tonight still or tomorrow. And the foundation guys will be here tomorrow to start laying block. I'm told by end of July, which is a week and a half away, so they will be done with the foundation. We'll have our three foot deep crawl space here. Garage slab will be poured. So they're not gonna pour the front and back patio yet because we actually have to finish framing the house before they can pour that. Then those have to be poured before we can do siding on the house because the siding of the house is kind of dependent on that concrete being in place. So a little bit of a juggling act to make sure everything is scheduled.
a concrete block arrived uh, a little later than he had hoped. I believe Ronnie said it's uh, 1,000 block. I'll try and confirm that, how many are on each stack. It's a lot of weight. Easier to transport. This is our mortar mix. You see masonry, cement. Walk up here a little more. These brown hoppers are sand to mix with the masonry cement and water. He said he will just dump these in a pile in a spot. Oh, that's a that's a bit of weight. <laughs> uh, whoa. <laughs> I suppose set it there so that I can just shovel it right into the hopper, into the mixer, sorry. Judging by that lid, it gets banged around a bit. Always a funny feeling when the tractors start tipping. They're already, they are raring to go, so he's already got the hopper spinning, adding sand, adding water. I didn't see, but he's already mixed some mortar in there or not. Oh, there it is. Notice that he didn't just dump the bag in there, he let it split there and let it kind of siphon down in. I suppose as that's spinning, it mixes it up nicely then. They know what they're doing, that's for sure. I know it's just a forklift, but I think it's kind of fun to watch everything get unloaded. I overheard he and Ronnie talking about staging these block around the perimeter a bit. Oh, and actually he's telling him go ahead and drive right in there, set him inside. Well, he's still got the little bridge there on the end. <laughs> oh, I suppose don't tip the weight down. Nice and gentle. Made it back out here at the end of the day. Didn't think I would catch these guys still working. Uh, I figured they probably knocked off by four o'clock. I think that's about normal. Um, but I wanted to see how much progress we made and they made quite a bit. Uh, we can see the garage front wall started here which is why the spacing there. This first is going to be our 16 foot garage door. The second space is the nine foot. Four course block laid, and I believe that's that's the top. Four courses is it. You can see they're started coming across this way now too. Really, 
You can see earlier they start at the corners and they work towards each other. It's a lot of block. This is 10 inch wide block, which Ronnie said there'll be about a thousand of these, give or take. And then we can see kind of further over there, those are eight inch block. Difference being, I think he told me the, the 10 inch block is when you have a slab, you do the 10 inch so that the slab basically has a shelf to rest on a little bit wider than normal. That makes it all float together, if I'm understanding them correctly. It costs the same, so I was like, you do what you need to do. <laughs> I wasn't going to get too hypercritical about how he does the job or fixing his car. I wouldn't want him hanging over my shoulder telling me how to do it. So it is a lot going on here. And it was fun to see a little bit uh, footage I got of Ronnie actually laying block and the way he can sling the mud so fast. Obviously a very practiced hand. Maybe it's a little strange. I think that's fun to watch someone laying block, but better them than me. <laughs> I guess it's one way to look at it. Well, block lane day one went well. It's Friday. It's the weekend. We're going home. Thanks for watching. Thank you.